Hello to all our service members. This year has been a year like no other. Russia's illegal war of aggression in Ukraine has made our world more dangerous. Faced with the biggest security crisis in Europe since World War II, NATO has responded with strength and unity. Within hours of the invasion, we activated our defense plans. We now have over 40,000 troops under NATO command in the eastern part of the lines backed by substantial capabilities in the air and at sea. We have doubled the number of battle groups from four to eight, and we will continue to strengthen our deterrence and defense. What you, our armed forces, do sends a clear message to Moscow and to anyone who would challenge us. NATO is here. We will protect and defend every inch of our territory. This year, I have had the privilege to meet many of you, exercising in Norway, defending the skies from Rammstein Air Command, serving aboard the USS George H.W. Bush aircraft carrier, in our deployments from the Baltic to the Black Sea, or training Ukrainian forces in the United Kingdom. I have seen how professional, committed and capable you are. So I want to take this opportunity to personally thank all of you wherever you are deployed. From the North Atlantic to the Mediterranean, maintaining a safe and secure environment in Kosovo, which is key for the stability of the Western Balkans region, or helping security forces in Iraq ensure that ISIS does not return. You play an essential role for our security. And NATO allies are investing more in defense. Supporting our armed forces makes our alliance stronger and all our people safer. So I thank you very much for your service and I wish you and your families a peaceful holiday season and a happy new year.